We're back, Gastonia, North Carolina. We're at the Barristers at the Esquire. Joy and Chef Ryan, what's going on? Not much, getting the day started. So our goal is to tell America about restaurants they need to come to, a place they can eat at every week. And I know you have a different concept here because the menu changes seasonally. Tell us if we're gonna come here right now, what are three items we have to eat at this restaurant? Um, if you're coming right now, three items I think you have to eat would be um, one of our appetizers, which is gonna be a crispy salmon. Okay. And then um, our entree in Gastonia, we do a barbecue chicken, kind of a little bit different variation, some, some uh, locally seasonal ingredients. And then, believe it or not, you gotta try our vegan pie that we do for a dessert. Vegan pie. You'll never know it's vegan. I had a vegan cookie delicious. the other day that I didn't know was vegan, there so I look go. forward to it. There you go. So tell us about the restaurant. We're in a, an old bank. We're near a, ho or a hotel above you. We are. We're in a hundred plus year old building. Uh, originally First National Bank of Gastonia, um, known to all of the locals affectionately as the Lawyers Building, uh, because all of our top floors, which house our hotel, uh, were office space for local attorneys. Um, our restaurant is housed in the bank lobby. Um, very little has changed since the bank closed in 1933 uh, to putting our restaurant into the bank lobby as it is now. And you've got great outdoor dining, yes. awesome little space up there with outdoor heaters. And you said the safe is still here, it's your, your, your freezer. It is, it's our walk-in cooler. Um, custom designed HVAC to make the uh, vault, which was part of the foundation of the building, part of Ryan's cooking space. Well, cool, well, let's go inside, let's check it out. Come on up. Okay, we're back. We've got the three items as promised. Tell me yes, what we have here, starting with this awesome plate. All right, so we'll start with uh, our crispy salmon. So what we're doing here is we're taking um, the belly from the salmon that we're using for our salmon entree. Um, we're trying to showcase our southern influences and try to put a little twist on things like that. So we got an apple cider base with barbecue rub that we're reducing down. Um, fried uh, salmon, we leave the skin on to give it that nice texture. We toss that with the glaze and we're topping it with some Benny seeds and then some uh, fried crispy filled peas. So, and that'll Love be it. our crispy salmon. Yes. Love it. We'll come to this last. What do we have here? All this right. was on the flame back there. Tell yes. about this chicken. So this is our version of barbecue chicken. Um, so we'll start with the base. We do a uh, local seasonal stuffing. So house-made cornbread that we use from um, flour and cornmeal that's ground up in Asheville from Farm and Sparrow. Uh, we use that with local collard greens, local tomatoes because they're in season right now. We finish that with a little bit of um, house-made vegetable stock. Reduce that down, salt and pepper to get our stuffing. Our barbecue chicken is done a little bit differently, um, untraditional kind of. We do a sous vide barbecue chicken. We sous vide that with buttermilk barbecue rub. Uh, we bring that back up in the in a pan with barbecue seasonings and vegetable stock. And then we flash grill it on the grill to get that nice caramelization of the sugars. And then we reduce that sauce down and make a uh, glaze out of it. You kept talking about it. And I, yeah. I had to look at it and I had to try it out. I guess now tell us about this dessert while I All right, chicken. so this is um, one of our vegan pies from our pastry chef, Max Griffin. So um, he's doing a really good job utilizing uh, local berries right now, and trying to make some desserts that kind of reach everybody. That's what we're trying to do here is have a little bit of food for everyone to be able to come and eat and feel welcomed inside of Barrister's. So right now we have in-house strawberries, in-season blackberries and raspberries, um, reduced down, put into a gluten-free pie shell. And then the real kicker is he's doing an amazing job making a coconut-based ice cream downstairs. So this, this dish is completely vegan, dairy, gluten-free, all around. So safe for everyone. So. so I've got vegan pie. Yes, sir. I've got coconut ice vanilla ice cream that you cannot tell there's not dairy. Wow. Right? I guess I'm officially vegan. Yeah, there you the go. Third time in my if life. you have a pastry chef it. like this in, in your restaurant, then yes, it's easy to be. Well, that's unbelievable. So you saw it, the amazing chicken. We've got the vegan desserts. The menu changes all the time. This is a restaurant that you want to come to every week. We'll see you next time. I got to eat. You got to go.